Let me ask you this. Who taught you how to ask questions? My guess is nobody, which is a huge problem in the entrepreneur community. You're too busy scrambling for answers that you forget to study the questions. It's time to stick yourself out there. Hello, my name is Scott, and you're watching NameTagTV.com. Questions aren't questions, they're catapults. And if you truly want to stretch your entrepreneur's brain into profitable territory, here's what I challenge you to remember. Your personal questions determine your company currency. Today we're going to explore our second volume and our continuation of entrepreneur questions that matter. Number one, how are you overcoming commoditization? So what's a commodity? Well, it's a product that customers can buy anywhere. Sugar, circuit breakers, crack cocaine. And if you're in the business of selling these items, you're in trouble. Unless you remember this. It's not about decommoditizing your product, it's about re-optimizing your value. Here's the reality. The only thing your customers can form an impression about, it's how interacting with you and your company and the brand makes them feel. Feel, not think, feel. And in a commoditized world, service becomes the key differentiator. So if you're not making the mundane memorable, you lose and your customers lose. Let me ask you this. Are you delivering with emotion in mind? Question number two. Are you giving your customers too many choices? Let me give you a quick rundown of the current top selling flavors of Pop-Tarts. Apple Strudel, Chocolate Banana Split, Frozen Watermelon, Wild Tropical Blast, Hot Fudge Sundae, Vanilla Milkshake, Cookies and Cream, and Campfire S'mores. Good lord, no wonder sales suck. After all, a confused mind never buys. Not to mention, when presented with an infinite amount of choices, customers default to the cheapest. This is a cultural trend that's not going away. And as the choices for products and services grow even more infinite, if that's possible, you might want to rethink how many different offerings your company provides. Let me ask you this. When are you going to realize that you're making choices, stressful activities for your customers is killing sales? Question number three. Are you focusing on creating ideas or fostering adoption of those ideas? I just finished a book called Ideas Are Free, Execution is Priceless. And I realized that what drives the engine of entrepreneurship, it's your ability to take your ideas and get them recognized, embraced, and adopted by the people who matter. So think of it this way. Creativity is a state of being. Innovation is a process of execution. Gee, I wonder which of those two makes more money. See, your challenge is to make sure that your ideas don't stay as ideas. They gotta grow into something real, something relevant, and something desirable. Otherwise, it's just a really expensive hobby that pisses off your spouse. Let me ask you this, are you trying to sell your ideas or trying to get users to adopt them? And let me suggest this. For the list called seven ways to out attract your competition, you know what to do. Send an email to me and you win the list for free. Remember, entrepreneurs that ask the dangerous questions are the entrepreneurs that make devastating profits. Stick yourself out there today.